guys, it's Betty and 2402 um, back with another video tutorial. And just for the intro, you get to stare at my adorable kitty kitty. But I got a request to make a video tutorial on how to, I guess, design a briar barn. Um, so let's go out to my briar barn and begin. So the first and most important thing is you're going to need a room for your briars. I use my sunroom. So I have to turn on the lights since it is night. And we go out to the briar room. I have this entire porch dedicated to my briars. So of course, like I said, that is the most important thing you need is a room. Because otherwise, where are you going to put your stuff? Okay? Now, it doesn't matter how big or how small the room, I will hopefully help you to design a barn around your needs. So let's begin. Okay, so one of the first, first things you're going to need, obviously, is horses. You need horses to have a barn. So, obviously, if you're watching this, I'm sure you might have briar horses and want some help. Another thing you're going to need is barns. They're helpful when designing a briar barn. Okay? There are many different kinds. Many people have this one. Um, it's it kind of like the traditional briar barn. It's just something that a lot of people have. Um, there's also the new one. It's the deluxe wooden barn with cupola or something like that. That I would love to have, but can't afford because I got this one. Now, I can't remember where I got this one. People ask, and I didn't bookmark the site, so I don't remember what it was. <laughs> so I can't help you. I think it was like a breezeway stables, something, something. I don't know. They used to make an older version of this, then they redid it. Let me tell you before you buy it. It looks great, but it is a pain to put together. We tried wood glue first and that didn't work. So we had to strip all that off and then we used hot glue like I said, but then a lot of the things started falling off. Like this roof is starting to fall off and these little pieces came off and that's because of the humidity on this porch since it is a sun porch and there's no air conditioning. It gets very hot, but I put fans in my windows. But that's besides the point. So aside from me babbling on and making this an even longer video than it needs to be, which will probably pretty be pretty long since I babble, barns are important. Okay? So let's talk about barns. Like I said, this is one that a lot of broader people have. This one, which is an expensive one, that if you have the money and would like to invest it, you can do. I also have these barns that actually made an L shape, but they disconnect and you can put them however you want. And it's two double stall barns and a storage room you can use for feed, tack. I use it as my feed room. And I got this at Sam's Club a long time ago. It is one of my very first briar barns. I believe it is my first briar barn. You can find them on eBay. Just type in model horse barns. You'll recognize it by the roof. You cannot mistake it. So that's a good barn. And you can find them for relatively $130, which isn't bad, considering I paid about $180 for this one when it first came out. So that's not bad. Also, sorry, it's dark back here. My light only reaches so far. I'm installing one in the moment. You can also make your own barn. This one I made out of cardboard, and I like it, but I'm probably going to sell it so that I can get a more realistic one. So if you want this one, it is for sale. So if you want to start making your barn awesome, this is a good one. And I like it because the stalls are nice and roomy. Um, it can be made on full stalls or any normal stall for different money, different size horses. 
And let me see, good lighting, good lighting, not there. Hmm. There. These clasps do come off and they do get undone. And that took me a while to do. And you have cross ties. And I like these doll walls, if you can see it. They, they slope. But either way, it's a nice beginner barn. Um, but there's many different kinds of barns that you can get. It's just for what suits your needs. Most barns will work with anything that you need. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing since I did babble a lot. So let's move on to step two. Okay, so the next step is pastures. Horses need room to run, and a barn that has only, well, barns, eh, it's gonna get kind of boring for your horses. And it's nice to see, because people judge on, realist, um, on how realistic your barn is. I have three pastures at the moment, four, excuse me. I have this one, this one with a run-in. I have one in the way back corner, and just this little one here. Now, again, depending on your needs, that depends on where your pasture is placed and how big they are, etc. So, let's start with this pasture that's right in front of us. This is my venting barn, so all of my big venting horses are in there. So, I like those horses to be able to run. And since this barn has doors that slide, The horses can go out to the pasture as they please if the door is open. Or I can just make it a separate pasture if I need more space for horses. Again, it all depends on what you want or need. Just like this one, it's just an outdoor pasture with a run in. So it would be good for wild horses or just, well, horses that are just outdoors. My very back pasture, which you can't see, is for wild mustangs. It's kind of secluded, um, since they are kind of mean, we don't want them with other horses. Um, so they're kind of just put in a corner alone. And then this little pasture here is again for horses in this barn. That can run it out as they please. And also I forgot about one back here that I'm working on making. And it does the same thing with this barn or once again can be a totally separate pasture depending on your needs. Okay, so there's the pastures. Let's move on to step three.